President Joe Biden is supposed to make statements at the summit on economic cooperation and combating the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as climate change on the continent, but the gathering has been plagued by boycott threats and claims of a poor agenda. I don't think countries in the region have much hope for the outcome of this summit of the Americas. They don't plan to have serious conversations at the summit over important issues bearing on the development of the region, but decide to exclude countries that the U.S. government dislikes. Regional leaders will arrive in Los Angeles on Monday for a week-long Summit of Americas, which will take place at the time when China, which is viewed as a fast emerging challenging by the U.S., has been making advances in territory that Washington has traditionally considered its own. The White House was still completing the invitation list day before the meeting in order to appease Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador, who has voted not to attend unless all states are invited. Biden has intended to exclude leftist government of Cuba, Nicaragua and Venezuela on the grounds that they are dictatorial, instead welcoming leaders of civil society from the three nations as part of his pledge to defend democracy. Biden aims to promote a vision of a region that is secure, middle class and democratic, according to Juan González, the senior White House advisor on Latin America, who told reporters that's fundamentally in the national security interests of the United States.